The decision to build the Superdam has caused both excitement and concern among experts and environmentalists. On the one hand, the project promises to significantly increase China's renewable energy capacity and meet the growing demand for electricity. On the other hand, it raises questions about the potential environmental impact on the region, especially in terms of biodiversity loss and displacement of local populations. The dam's impressive length towers over the landscape, eclipsing even the colossal Three Gorges Dam. Its size signals China's ambition to assert its dominance in hydroelectric power generation. Once operational, the dam is projected to have three times the capacity of its predecessor, making it an engineering marvel. However, the construction of such a large-scale infrastructure project is fraught with challenges. The remote and rugged terrain of the Himalayas presents serious obstacles for the engineers and workers who will have to build the dam. The region is also seismically active, raising concerns about the safety and stability of the structure in the event of earthquakes or other natural disasters. Environmentalists warn of possible impacts on the fragile ecosystem of the Yarlung Tsangbo Grand Canyon, which is home to a rich array of flora and fauna, including endangered species such as the Tibetan antelope and snow leopard. The dam's reservoir is expected to flood vast tracts of land, inundate forests, wetlands and agricultural land, and disrupt the natural flow of the river. In addition, dam construction could have far-reaching impacts on downstream regions, especially in neighboring countries such as India and Bangladesh, which rely on the Brahmaputra River for irrigation, transportation and livelihoods. Diverting water and altering the river's flow could increase tensions and provoke water disputes between riparian states. Despite these concerns, Chinese authorities remain steadfast in their commitment to the project, extolling its potential benefits for economic development and poverty alleviation in the region. They argue that the dam will provide clean and renewable energy to millions of people, reducing dependence on fossil fuels and mitigating climate change. The Yarlung Zhangbo Dam project is not just an engineering feat. It is a symbol of China's commitment to harnessing the untapped energy potential of its natural landscape. Set amidst the majestic Himalayas, where rivers cascade over rugged terrain and mountains rise above verdant valleys, the dam embodies a fusion of human ingenuity and the raw power of nature. At its core, the project is designed to unlock the vast reserves of hydroelectric energy stored in the rivers and rocks of this breathtaking region. Capable of generating three times more hydroelectric power than the Three Gorges Dam currently produces, the Yarlung Tsangbo Dam promises to revolutionize China's energy industry and propel it towards a greener and more sustainable future. The Chinese government sees this initiative as a critical component of its strategy to combat climate change and transition to a low-carbon economy. By harnessing the renewable energy potential of the Yarlung Zhangbo River, China aims to accelerate its efforts to reduce carbon dioxide emissions by 2030 and achieve carbon neutrality by 2060. Amid growing global pressure to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, the construction of the dam represents a bold step toward fulfilling China's commitments under the Paris Agreement and positioning itself as a world leader in environmental protection. However, the ambitious project has not been without its detractors. Critics point to the environmental and social costs of large-scale dam construction, citing the precedent set by the Three Gorges Dam, which displaced more than 1.25 million people and caused irreparable damage to ecosystems along the Yangtze River. It is feared that the Yarlung Zhangbo Dam could cause further damage to the fragile Himalayan ecosystem and the people on whom their livelihoods depend. Moreover, the prospect of the Super Dam has raised tensions among neighboring countries, particularly India and Bangladesh, which are downstream of the Yarlung Zhangbo River. Given their dependence on the river's waters for irrigation, transportation and subsistence, both countries see the Chinese dam as a potential threat to their water security. The specter of water scarcity and disputes looms over the country, exacerbating existing tensions and raising fears of escalating conflicts over shared resources. 
As geopolitical dynamics in the region continue to evolve, the Yarlung Zhangbo Dam project serves as a focus for competing interests and aspirations. It embodies the complex interplay between economic development, environmental conservation, and geopolitical strategy, forcing stakeholders to seek a delicate balance between progress and conservation. Ultimately, the fate of the dam will not only determine the future of China's energy landscape, but will reverberate throughout the Himalayan region, leaving an indelible mark on the lives of millions of people and the ecosystems that sustain them. Amidst the churning currents of geopolitical tensions, India has responded to the looming specter of the Yarlung Zhangbo Dam with a bold statement of its own. As part of a strategic maneuver to protect its water resources and counter the potential consequences of China's ambitious project, India's Ministry of Water Resources has unveiled plans to build a formidable 10-gigawatt hydroelectric project on another tributary of the Brahmaputra River. This proactive stance underscores India's determination to assert its sovereignty over waterways and mitigate perceived threats from its neighbor's superdam. By strengthening its own hydropower potential, India seeks to offset potential disruptions to water supply and energy security, thereby strengthening its position in the face of geopolitical uncertainty. However, there is apprehension and skepticism lurking beneath the surface of this bold initiative. Indian commentators have expressed concern over the alleged lack of transparency of the Yarlung Zhangbo Dam project, accusing the Chinese government of shrouding the endeavor in secrecy to avoid international scrutiny and preempt objections. Indeed, the veil of secrecy cast over the super dam has generated speculation and conjecture, leaving many questions unanswered about its potential environmental, social, and geopolitical implications. Without access to comprehensive information about the scope of the project and its potential impacts, stakeholders are left in the dark and unable to fully assess its implications until it is too late. The situation in the Himalayas echoes similar disputes unfolding in other parts of the world, where the pursuit of hydroelectricity has become a hotbed of geopolitical rivalry and regional tensions. In Ethiopia, the construction of the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam on the Blue Nile River has sparked bitter rivalry with neighbor Egypt, which fears the dam will affect its water supply and agricultural livelihoods. Similarly, in the volatile landscape of the Middle East, control of the Tigris-Euphrates River complex has become a contentious issue, fueling long-standing rivalries and geopolitical maneuvering between neighboring states. The construction of dams and water diversion projects has become a tool for asserting dominance and securing strategic advantages in a region rife with historical feuds and territorial disputes. As global demand for renewable energy continues to grow, the pursuit of hydropower presents both opportunities and challenges for countries seeking to balance economic development with environmental sustainability and geopolitical stability. The fate of the Yarlung Zhangbo Dam and its counterparts around the world will ultimately determine the contours of regional dynamics and the future of water management in the 21st century.